Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, please feel free to write to walkwithtak at gmail.com. If you have any questions regarding this video or any other videos that I have posted in the past, if you have any videos that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Home cooking has many challenges, but one of the biggest challenges is boredom. Many people find that uh, home cooking could be really difficult uh, when they could not figure out what they're going to cook. A lot of people find home cooking to be mundane and tedious, uh, partly because they seem to be cooking the same dish all the time. And to be able to find new dish to cook every evening could be a real challenge. And this is the reason a lot of people uh, turn to fast and ultra processed food because there seems to be far more varieties and also the food seems to be more interesting. But in fact, uh, those foods are not really that varied. Uh, they always use the same ingredients, except uh, they make it more interesting. So can you make your home cooking more interesting? And my goal in the fast cooking system uh, with template-based cooking is exactly designed for this purpose. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use template-based cooking to cook a steak dish known as a scramlet. Jackie loves egg, and she can eat eggs in many different ways. For example, she can eat scrambled egg, egg omelet, boiled egg, or even steamed egg. However, Jackie sometimes gets tired of eating eggs because it seems to be all the same most of the time. This is until Jackie finds a scramlet. When she learned about scramlet, she realized that it opened up a huge lot of possibilities, and these possibilities will allow her uh, to cook her egg dish in many different ways, using different kinds of ingredients, so that she will not be just eating the egg alone, uh, but egg will be uh, combined with other ingredients, all the way from vegetables to different kinds of meat, uh, including seafood. And the end result is that now her egg dish will be far more interesting than she has ever had before. And the solution uh, to her problem uh, is scramlet. So let me quickly uh, explain what a scramlet is and why scramlet makes such a great uh, template that you can use it to create many different variations and varieties. A scramlet is a very simple egg dish. As the term scramlet refers to, is the combination of two cooking techniques, scrambled egg and egg omelet. Now in this case, a scramlet has one distinct advantage. First and foremost is that it is very fast, very easy to cook. It usually takes only about three or four minutes to cook a scramlet dish. And this makes it really suitable for anybody who wants something really quick, particularly when they arrive home late in the evening, if they just want to have something on the table. However, scramlet has even another great secret. And that is, because it is a template, it is easily to modify a scramlet and to make it into many different types of dishes. And they could be so different from each other that you will never get bored eating it. So what is the reason why scramlet makes such a good template? And Jackie found out, the reason actually is very simple, and it is by combining scrambled egg and egg omelette, uh, you can create a dish that almost resembles an omelette, that you can put different ingredients in it, but it is as simple to cook as a scrambled egg. So okay, first of all, let me describe why a scrambled uh, is a good template. Now what is a template? A template is really nothing more uh, than a recipe, with the only exception is that a template uh, has a set of characteristics, procedure that how you create a dish. And these steps or procedures is central uh, to the characteristics of this dish. For example, a scrambled is always made with egg. And the end result of a scrambled is always have a characteristic, which is a combination of a scrambled egg and an egg omelet. So in this case, the method in cooking the scrambled is standard and you use this method, how to cook the egg, and ultimately how to achieve that omelet texture that you are looking for. So when you cook a scramlet, 
you follow the exact procedure. In, in this case, a scrambled turned out to be ideal to cook in a wok, although you can cook a scrambled in a frying pan as well, but it's not going to work the same way as you will be cooking in a wok. The idea is that by pouring uh, eggs into a wok, in this case, in my standard steel wok, that's well seasoned, and then uh, once you have the eggs in the wok, uh, you let the egg cook briefly. Now you notice that uh, the edge of the egg will cook faster, and because there is a fewer amount of eggs in it, because the egg um, is cooked in a wok, which is in a bowl shape. So what happens is that uh, if you use a wok spatula to push the cooked egg from the outside to the inside, you will open up the space on the edge, and the uncooked egg will flow into it. And if you keep doing this, you will continue to accelerate the cooking process. So that's the basic idea of a scramlet. And once you start to fold the egg, and you are basically repeating the process of an egg omelette, but at the same time, you also scramble the egg very lightly. And so the end result, you're going to have a combination of scrambled eggs and egg omelette in its texture as well as in the outcome. So what makes scrambled to be a great template is because of the possibility of you can replace whatever the ingredients that you add to the scramlet. Now the scramlet is very similar to the egg omelette. You can add many different ingredients and this will uh, make the dish to be interesting. For example, uh, you can add the frozen vegetables. And the frozen vegetables work really well because it's very convenient and it will give the scramlet an interesting flavor. And in this case, uh, you can add different kinds of frozen vegetables. For example, you can add a frozen vegetable mix that will contain green beans, carrots, sweet peas, and sweet corn. But then you can also replace that by adding things like edamame. Or you can uh, eliminate some of those uh, ingredients in the frozen vegetables and to make it to be more limited, such as a combination of uh, sweet corn uh, with sweet peas alone. So by making these variations, you can create a different type of a scrambled each time when you cook. And that makes your dish more interesting because each of the ingredients will provide a different characteristic to this dish. However, you can further make adjustment to the scrambled by adding a meat. Lunch meat is a perfect way to alter the texture of a scrambled. You can use different kinds of lunch meat. You can use even sausages, or you can even use hot dogs. So right there, it will greatly enhance the repertoire of your scrambled. Of course, then you can also add fresh vegetables that do not require long cooking time. This including things like mushroom, as well as uh, tomatoes, and the list is endless. The possibility is almost uh, impossible are too imagined. And Jackie is certainly fine this is to be the case. Uh, once she becomes familiar with the scramlet template, uh, she probably make over 50 different kinds of scramlet using many different approaches. And now she said to me that she would never get tired of eating eggs. Uh, so if you are new to stir frying, you really want to practice uh, using your wok and try to cook uh, something simple. But interesting, a scramlet will be something for you to uh, give it a first crack. I post a new video each day to help you to make home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun uh, using my fast cooking system. Uh, so you can make home cooking as part of your daily routine, and it can be a viable alternative to fast and ultra-processed food. Uh, so keep on cooking, and I will see you tomorrow.